go past these signs and keep on their line. As you can see on the reins, they're still quite slack, so it's not like they're being held tightly on the reins. Just want them to trot along happily, regardless of what they can see in front of them. And again, here the road surface changes colour. Got these white lines, zigzags either side, coming down to these traffic lights. People on the side of the road, again, this is another thing. You can see this lady's holding a coat over her arm. Well, you know, they move about, she lifts her arm to wave or something, and that's another, another thing for them to look at. see all these barriers and the cones closing it down to a single lane of traffic cutting some trenches in in there as well they're not working the machinery today but obviously we'll bring them down when they are there's an ambulance coming up another nice thing they always turn off their sirens when they see us but it's a shame really we wouldn't mind if they came past with the sirens going because again if they come round a corner suddenly you know they're on their way to an emergency they've got to get there as quickly as they can well they don't expect to see a horse and carriage on the road but if you know that they've heard the sirens and they don't react to them in any way shows that they're done, they're working happily. Again, you can see all the debris over the road here, the pallets on the side, paving slabs and things. Lots of them to look at, but we want them just to go where they're told on a nice slack rain and be perfectly happy to do so. And also you've got people joining and leaving the roundabout and that's another thing, obviously when we take horses downtown we always try and put them, we've got some areas where there's three lanes of traffic, you know, one of the lanes to the left turns off somewhere. And if you think about it, when you're driving on the road, all the traffic passes on the offside. So if you had somebody come up your inside, like just here, on the roundabout, to turn off, the horse who's on the inside might not have experienced that before. So we always try to put them in that situation so that they have cars coming up on the inside and the outside so that they've experienced it you know and then if you do get one coming up the inside they're not going to panic Still got these traffic lights up here. So again, round here they're doing some more construction work. They've actually got traffic lights a little bit further up. Again, they'll walk up right behind this lorry. Now obviously, you wouldn't want your horses necessarily to stand directly behind it and breathe in all the exhaust fumes. On the other hand, you come round a corner and you're stuck, we can't turn round there, we've got traffic coming down the other side, we've got cars behind us, so what do you do? You don't want your horses to panic. You can see the collars coming off their necks, just in case if a breaching strap ever did break, they'd have to hold it back on their necks. And you don't want them reacting to it in any way or panicking, so we let them experience it now while they're in training. Bez is going to slow them right up, so they've gone from a trot to a walk. You still see the collars are off their shoulders. 
no brakes. So the other thing is, you know, obviously if your brakes went and they had to stop the whole weight of the carriage on the breaching or, you know, say a breaching strap went and they had to stop it on the collars, the other fact to remember is that they're only being driven in soft rubber bits. And when we get back, we'll show you how soft they are. They're so flexible, you can bend them in half, tie them in a knot. So you can see now we're still going down a slight slope. See the collars off their necks there a little bit. Buzz isn't using any brakes. So if they can stop the weight of this vehicle, while it's only being driven in soft rubber bits, it means you can stop them and control them in a safe manner. So that shows, in our opinion, that they're broken properly. I mean, these rubber bits they're wearing, they're so flexible, you can tie them in a knot, you know, bend them right in half. And we believe if you can break a horse in a soft bit, and they'll respond to that soft bit, and be nice and light on your hands, you know, not pull the reins, you know, you don't have to take hold of them and pull them in in order to get a nice head carriage, then surely that's better for the horse, you know, why would you want to put a lump of metal in their mouths? Just because a Liverpool's a driving bit doesn't mean you have to use it. If we ever use a Liverpool, we wrap them with latex as well. I mean, we have some special ones made now with the, the rubber mouthpiece, but... You know, there's no point in making them hard mouths. If you can control them quite happily on a just a piece of rubber, and they'll respond to you, you know, stop stop the carriage while it's going downhill Safe. safely, you know, even, even with no brakes being used, even when, you know, the breaching is adjusted so that they're taking some weight on the collar, and you can still stop them, then obviously they're a safe pair of ponies to drive. And then if you decide you want to drive them in Liverpools or whatever bits you want to put in them, then that's obviously down to the individual preference of the driver. But we want to be able to take them out in heavy traffic, right round the middle of town, uphill, downhill, walk, trot, canter, stop, rain back, all with the same soft mouthpiece. Nice slack reins. There's a lot of people that say, oh, you, you know, driving horses, you should have more contact with a driving horse than you should do with a riding horse just because they're stuck out the front and you've got, you haven't got your legs wrapped around them. Well, where's the point in that? Why hang on to their mouths and make them hard mouths if you don't have to? And if the only way you can get good head carriage on your horse is by having it on the second slot of a Liverpool bit and hanging on to it, then the horse hasn't got true self-carriage because it's only holding its head there because it's restrained by the reins. Now these two mares, as I've said before, they were mouthed before they came to us. They were already riding. So you'll see on our other videos there's horses going with a lovely head carriage on a slack rein with a rubber bit. And people will say, you know, they stick a bit in a horse's mouth when they're breaking it for the first time. Just stick the bit in and, you know, a Liverpool bit because that's what came with the set of harness. But if you mouth them properly, which does take a bit of knowledge. then you can get them going with that nice head carriage without having to pull on the reins, put a more severe bit in them just to try and get them to respond. You know, we want them to respond on a soft bit. they're entering the water at the walk. There we go. Cheers mate. 